off in the 800 metres, the first track event for the day. Bright sunshine here at Lakeside Stadium. St. Joey's, Geelong, Charlie Nichols rounding up the top four. Archie Cowdow, take a bow. That was marvellous in more ways than one. We're going to Division 1, the first place recipient from the respective school. Their school gets seven points in contribution to the end of their tally. Second place with five, third place four, fourth place with three, fifth two, and sixth place goes for one. Emmanuel saw somewhat in the lead. Mazanai did absolutely just come in here like a wrecking ball. If anything, they're going to take it. Oh no, slipped over! St. Joey's Fairtree Gully seemed to have won it. St. Joey's Geelong, Noah Burns looks to have a really good stride, but as I said from the start, Dylan had a sensational skyrocket from the blocks, and that is certainly how he finished. It's all part of a grand plan. However, Jeffrey Nambiri from Simmons has other ideas. The Fairtree Gully, Montgomery is looking good, but it's a man of a moment. Gavin from Mazenod. Ain't nothing gone the breaking my stride. If anyone knows that son, you've lived long and well. It's looking fast and furious. I'm sure many of you have seen that movie before. St. Joey's Geelong leading the charge. But it's all about this home straight here. St. Bernard's looking really good. Up against d -Law at the moment. Aiden, Lawrence, take your pick. I couldn't have any idea going up here. It could be a photo finish. We have our first record broken for the day by Thomas Sims in the under 17 high jump with a height of 2 meters zero 01 which eclipsed last year's record of 2 meters also set by a recipient from St Patrick's in under 17s Louis, Louis how about this encouragement right in front of me Louis seems to may have got it may have chased the mantle Mitchell has now gone into second Louis from Mazda. Oh, this is going to be interesting. This will be very interesting. Wow. And we got the finish we all deserve. St. Bernard's Finn Daffy. This could really be anyone's game here. It's a three horse race. Who wants it more? And I couldn't. It looks like Bernard's have eclipsed St. Bede's in the very last minute, just second there. Followed by St. Joey's Geelong. This could be a grandstand finish here. It's O'Brien, it's Carboon. Who have you got? Carboon, he's looking something. I think Mazanot had taken that out. He's fallen on the ground just after the finish line too. With Emmanuel coming third, but hopefully you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed delivering it to you viewers. Hopefully see you soon. See you later.